I am Mathias Fink. I am professor of physics at École Physique Chimie in Paris. I'm José Sahel. I'm the director of the Vision Institute and the PI together with Mathias Fink on the Synergy Helmholtz project. The biological and medical question was really to provide a holistic approach to the visual system, from the cornea to the brain, developing the technologies that would really enable us to visualize at the highest resolution not only the structure but also the function of the tissue. My main interest is in retina and this is also the tissue which is affected in the most frequent causes of blindness in, uh, in Europe especially. Some of the tools which are being developed are ways to measure actually the transparency of the tissue, uh, to give an assessment of uh, especially for the cornea and maybe for the lens, how opaque it is, which could be important in decision making for, for therapy, but also to assess the impact of the therapy on the tissue. This way you can monitor the progression of the disease, predict what area is going to degenerate in the next future, which means that we can have an early detection of the disease and also better to understand the disease in patients themselves. To answer the different uh, problem that uh, the biologists have, uh, we have different kind of tool in our lab. All of them are based on what we call the ultra-fast imaging. And uh, we have developed many techniques to do ultra-fast imaging or with uh, optical wave or with ultrasonic wave. And all these techniques uh, can be improved and we try to improve them with the specificity of the problem we have in ophthalmology. When I started to hear about what Matthias uh, and his institute was doing about imaging and ultrasound and optical uh, imaging, I thought that if we could apply some of these technologies to the eye, we could really be able to observe things we are dreaming of seeing and understanding better. And so uh, we started to discuss on that and try to find how we could work together, how we could build a frame and get the funding to get started. We decide to go together because it has no sense for us to go alone to push new medical technique for ophthalmology because nobody in our group knows this field. And it was like this that uh, the synergy appears. The two institutes are very close to each other. We are 20 minutes walking from each other, which makes it very easy to synergize. And over the first year, we learned how to understand better, to create a common language, uh, which now is something which is the, base, the baseline, actually, we are working on. The core community of Synergy is around 30, 40 people uh, working together uh, with uh, PIs uh, and co-PIs and also now a lot of PhD students and postdocs that really become uh, more and more independent uh, very fast in, in the project. Now there is a community of scientists and, and engineers working together on the Synergy project but now they are really creating their own project as part of it. So the added value is more than just bringing people together, it's creating something together which is something we couldn't predict from start. They have big needs of new technology in ophthalmology. We are very happy to develop new techniques and it is only if we are both together that we can succeed. We need each other. We, if, without each other, we don't achieve anything. I think it's a dream. It's just a dream come true because this is something I could never think I would develop in my career. For me, synergy means the freedom to be creative. For me, synergy means improvement. For me, synergy means common goals. Synergy means creativity. Joint projects. Serendipity opportunities, boosting research. For us, synergy means working together.